It prepares us for what we can actually expect to use in a real world pop. It helps us do training here that, that uh, we could only get other places. It does assist me in being a better fire pilot. It's an ultimate SA builder. If combat is the true test of a fighter pilot's abilities, then training under those conditions is the best way to prepare. That's why TCG's Ground Tactical Data Link System, or GTS, was developed. By simulating realistic combat scenarios on Link 16 and other TDL networks, the GTS provides an innovative, cost-effective way to let pilots train as they fight. If you want to be a better fighter, you train as you expect to fight in the real environment. And that, for me, means that you replicate what people expect to get as close as possible. So if we can make our training environment more realistic, by replicating platforms, by replicating the real C2 environment. It makes them prepared for real world operations and that obviously increases their operational effectiveness. While fighters are airborne, a GTS operator can generate a variety of tactical training scenarios from the ground, such as Red v Blue. The GTS fully utilizes live virtual constructive or LVC technology allowing an operator to simulate command and control operations, display virtual aircraft like AWACS, Joint Stars, and Rivet Joints, and even integrate live assets dynamically, enhancing the realism and effectiveness of a training mission. What it allows us to do is fill in some of those gaps that we uh, would not normally have. For example, I can put uh, notional players out there if I want to put a RJ cap or a seed cap uh, notional players in the ground, uh, I can do that through the boss system. I wanted to utilize seed assets and uh, EW assets where we don't have those here on base, but uh, through the GTS we're able to simulate that those guys are out there so we can uh, enhance our deconfliction plan, uh, tardy plan, uh, air to air, air to ground game plans, things like that. The GTS is designed to be an integral part of daily operations. It provides a Link 16 ground station for multiple squadrons and functions as the Net Time Reference, or NTR. Boss GTS here, we're using it as our, our NTR. It helps get everybody on the same network, uh, especially when you have two flying squadrons, multiple goes per day. Everybody can link into the same network so we don't have a uh, split net. The GTS also allows pilots to jump into the jet and connect to the net by greatly simplifying the often challenging Link 16 entry. Its terminal control wizard provides an intuitive interface that automates entry with just six clicks to the net. It steps the operator through choices that he has to make and in six mouse clicks he can be confident that he has established a solid Link 16 network. It allows us to get on the link easier, get all of our players between the two squadrons here at Aviano on the link at the same time so we can see all players. And it increases our situational awareness when we're out there in the airspace, being able to know where everybody is as long as we're all up on the link at the same time. The GTS increases the situational awareness of a supervisor of flight as well, through real-time monitoring of aircraft status and improved network communications. The soft can now expand his or hers SA bubble, if you will, beyond just a RAPCON can look on one picture and see where everybody is in the airspace and uh, be able to use that data to his advantage. This heightened SA can save lives, particularly in support of search and rescue missions. On Link 16, there are indicators for an emergency or a bailout, and what an operator might do once he notices that this has occurred, hey, we've got a bailout, is scan the area for any other type of help and issue an order to go investigate. It's uh, really critical to know what, when, and who, and the status of every aircraft. So in a SAR situation, position, weather, 
who's close, who has the fuel to stay there, cap over the the survivor, hopefully. That's something that will be critical in this scenario like that. The GTS is built upon TCG's renowned Battlefield Operations Support System, or BOSS, and is appropriate for any Link 16 application. With advanced training software and additional hardware, the GTS is a rugged, transportable turnkey system that is easy to set up and learn. The GTS system is, uh, once it's already set up and powered on, uh, a little bit of training uh, will take you through the steps to send out a free text message or uh, initiate pseudo tracks or put threats out on the link. Uh, so that part is uh, uh, fairly easy. Uh, it takes a couple days training to learn how to power the whole system on. Investing in the GTS is a smart decision. It's cost effective and maximizes training budgets. I would definitely recommend it for training. The benefits outweigh the uh, cost in my opinion as far as uh, getting information to the jets and getting simulated training. Uh, I think it's a huge benefit. TCG's ground tactical data link system has been proven in joint and coalition operations and is employed globally in over 30 nations. They've learned firsthand that the GTS lets pilots train as they fight, integrates LVC players into training exercises, improves supervisor of flight situational awareness that can save lives, and most importantly, develops better combat fighters. At the end of the day, the GTS helps make reality the words, mission accomplished.